everyone, Philip from Blackboard Marketeer. We are introducing a new thing where we're using this whiteboard. Uh, hopefully this will help you guys. So what we're going to do with this is going to break down the market, sort of teach you more about trading strategies, how to understand the market, how to read the market. Um, but for this video, I'll sort of break down candlesticks. We've done a video on this before, but hopefully this one's a bit easier and easy, um, more simple to understand. So I'll be drawing the candlesticks for you and teaching you or showing you what they look like. So starting off with our bullish candle. So this is to the upside. So how that works is we have the three main parts of the body. So just drawing, starting with the candle, we have got the body of the candle, and then we have the wicks to the upside and a wick to the downside. So in a, in a bearish market, sorry, bullish market to the upside, this is your open. So this is where the session begins, and then we have our close, and this is the end of the session. So this candlestick represents a certain time frame. For example, now we'll just use the hourly time frame. Uh, but it can represent 30 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute. Um, so obviously this now represents, if you look on a smaller time frame, this will be constructed of two 30 minute candles and four 15 minute candles. Um, but looking at the hourly time frame um, right now. So and then we have our wicks, which is our low and our high of the session. So how this works is taking it to another color just to make it a bit easier. In the market, when the session opens, when the candle opens on the hourly time frame, we have the candle moving to the upside. Oh, sorry, we'll, we'll start moving to the downside. And then as it pushes back up again, past our open, it creates that wick. And then once it moves up into the market, and then moves back down again and closes, so it closes here, it created that upper wick, and then it formed our body over here. So again, coming back to it, we have our main parts, which is our open, our close, our low, and our high of the session. And this this section over here, I'm usually colored in, but this is the body. This is the body of the candle. So there's also, sometimes can indicate how much volume there is in the market. Obviously, if you, if you have a big body in the market, there's been a lot of volume, a lot of trading momentum going. Um, if we have a smaller body in the market, something like this, um, with a lot of wicks, obviously not a lot of momentum, not a lot of decision, knowing where the market wants to go. This is a more decisive candle where this one is more sort of indecisive and we can go even down lower to our very uh, more commonly known doji, um, which shows a lot of uncertainty in the market. And then moving on to our uh, bearish candle, which is the same thing, but in opposite directions. So we have our, we'll just start over here. So we have our open of the market, we have the high, we have the close and the low, and then obviously this is our body, right? So in a bearish market, we have just reversed open, and we have a close. And then our high, and our low. And this, this in here is downwards, and then this over here, is moving to the upside. So pretty simple to easy to understand. And then what we also have, if you're more looking into your bar charts, a little bit more difficult to understand, very old school, but if you're looking for that, that's fine too. A bearish one, right, sorry, a bullish one. We have our open, we have our low, the movement, we have the high and we have the close, right? So very simple. So this is a, this is a uh, bullish to the upside. And then we have our bearish, a bearish bar, very similar again, we have our open, we have the high, the move to the downside, um, we have the wick, and then we have the close, right? And this is to the downside, right? Very easy, very simple to understand, um, plain and simple. Hope you guys did like it. Do give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, followed by the bell icon to be notified whenever we release new videos. A lot more of these coming, so stay tuned and let us know what you think. Cheers.